So we are going to the first one. Uh, it's called Us Versus Them by Hal Peller. Thank you. Thanks. So Us Versus Them. How many folks, uh, think back on all the experiences in your life when you were in a scenario where it was us versus them. How did it make you feel? Relaxing? <laughs> Stress-free? Or was it like your hair was on fire? Right? So us versus them. How many folks were in the management position, leadership position, right? And what did you, how did you feel about your, your uh, direct reports? That you could do it better than them? Right? That they were slightly incompetent, maybe a little slow, maybe less accurate? And if you were a uh, subordinate, how would you feel about your managers? <laughs> then there's the Green New Deal versus climate deniers while the planet is burning. Republican, back in the States, we have a deadlocked, nothing happening Congress because the red states are fighting with the blue states all the time, and nothing gets done. Then there's gender, boys versus girl, men versus women. When I learned how to play softball as an adult, I, uh, I, uh, didn't throw very well. I, I, said, I said back then, I threw like a girl. But after only 15 minutes of practice, I said, I wish I threw like a girl. The, some of the women on my team could really rifle it in from out, out in the outfield. Then there's generational, right? Boomers versus millennials. I had my neighbor, I asked him to I had some heavy speakers I wanted to bring to the second floor, and he was young and strong. So I said, can you help me? And he said, uh, yeah, hold my beer, boomer. <laughs> then is our tribe versus people who are not in our tribe. When I talk about our tribe, I'm talking about all the improvisers. In our, in our, I love this tribe. It's so generous. People in this tribe are so generous, so careful, so thoughtful. So they want to make sure that, and it's just in their DNA to, to create a safe space for all of us. How does that feel? Don't you wish your friends and family can join in on that feeling of, of the joy of being in this tribe of, of mostly improvisers? There's three factors that create uh, us versus them scenarios. There's a fear of the unknown, there's lack of trust, and then there's the inability to identify with community or in a sense of alienation. That's what causes the us versus them scenario. And let me tell you, FTC, there's no greater harm for a culture than the, this fear of, uh, I mean, the lack of trust or the lack of community than us versus them scenario. You want to avoid it or get rid of it as, as quickly as possible. And let me tell you something. Buying foosball tables or having a, a vice president of happiness and joy are only band-aids. The true solution to us versus them is improvisation. So, who wants to play a game? I need a volunteer from the audience. Come on up. Yeah. yeah. No. No. So, this is Jessica. This is Hal. Yes. Um, and you're not a plant, right? You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, one, it's difficult for you to stand up or, put, like me, put my socks on without getting out of breath. Or 10, 
you're able to pull a Mack truck with your teeth. <laughs> How str what's, what would you rate yourself as far as strength? Eight. Eight? Oh, wait, no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no really? Uh, now I think I'm wrong, but yes. Okay, an eight. I need another, uh, another person to, who thinks that they are about an eight or seven or an eight to come play with Jessica. I need another seven or eight. Ah, this ought to be good. And your name, sir? Ben. Ben. Thanks for your volunteering, Ben. Extra credit, by the way. Oh, thank you. I need it. Yeah. <laughs> There's no term paper for you folks at Gamut. All right. So what's the game? This game is like a tug of war without the rope. Okay? And... Cash prizes. Right? So here's the line. We need you to, to grasp each other by the wrist. You see, like in the picture? By the wrist. There you go, right? Now, when I say go, and remember, <laughs> nobody gets hurt unlike the squid games. We're going to keep it safe. And every time you have the one, of the, one of you gets the other person to cross this line here, I'll pay you a euro or a dollar. Oh. Oh. All right, now remember. <laughs> All right? Now, nobody gets hurt, remember, very important. <laughs> and you have 10 seconds. So every time that somebody crosses this line, I'll pay the other person a euro or a dollar. Okay? And go. What time? Time. Time? Yeah, 10 seconds. One time. I owe you a dollar. You wanted a dollar or a euro? Euro. There you go. All right. Two more people. Quickly, please. Two more people. Perfect. And remember, nobody gets hurt, but every time... Let me remind you, every time that somebody crosses this line right here, every time somebody crosses this line right here, you'll get paid a dollar. Oh, there's two people coming. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Any t every time somebody crosses this line, you'll get a paid a dollar. Okay? And wait, where's my stop on? Oh, here we go. And go. <laughs> Time! I got, I counted 10 times. There's 10 euro, uh, 5 euro and, and 5 dollars. How did that, how did, how did that feel, how did that feel to discover a loophole in, in my game? Right? You see what happens when they collaborated? How cool is that?
It's important to, to collaborate and, 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 and be positive about it. There's a solution out there. I didn't, I didn't, it's not a competition. So, improvisation. My top three rules are slightly different than what you hear at the conference. But slightly different. Um, the, the first rule is always make positive choices. People are attracted to positive people. They want to collaborate with you enthusiastically when you're positive, right? Anybody work with a negative person, you avoid them like the plague. Next is to be in the moment. That's, you know that you, you're in the moment because you can't physically be in the past, you can't physically be in the future. You can only physically be in this moment right here, right now. So that uh, uh, being said, it eliminates distraction and you focus on what needs to be taken care of. But all rules can be broken. All rules can be broken with this uh, third rule. Make the other person look great. What do they need to look great? So if I'm on stage with somebody and, and, and they're all, all four of us are trying to make each other look great, it's not about me, it's about you. What do you need to look great becomes internalized and we all succeed. We all succeed. So, in the building industry, however, it's the trades and the suppliers, the electricians, the framers, the plumbers, etc., cetera, uh, versus the home builder. And that's, it's very, it, it, there's a lot of animosity be, between those two. And it, because the home builder is anxious about getting the job done. And they want that done yesterday, right, for a low price. And they want the lowest price, so they're constantly rebidding. And, and the trades go onto the job site, and it's not ready with a crew of people, and it's not ready for them. And they got the wrong material delivered. And, and, and there's just so much stress. Uh, I think Brent you know, talked about it yesterday. There's so much stress and brain damage that there's a lot of suicide. That's an important relationship. 95% of the people that build the houses are the trades suppliers. They're not uh, uh, directly on the home builder's payroll. So that's an important relationship, wouldn't you say? And, and uh, so I said to my, my friend Scott, I said, you know, I'd love to bring improvisation into home building. And Scott said, oh, no, 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 no. These, the, 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 the home builders don't want their folks improvising when they're building houses. They want them to follow robust systems and processes to get a house built. And I said, what system or process? You know, if, if Scott's a pilot. I said, what system? There's a lot of structure and, 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 and uh, process when you take off from an airport and land at an airport. I said, what system or process was Sully Sullenberger following when he landed that plane on the Hudson River and, and, and saved 136 souls? He was improvising. He was improvising. So it, there's no faster way to eliminate the fear, create trust, and, and, and create community like we have here than improvisation. And it, and it doesn't necessarily make things up as you go along. It's just the whole concept. Um, let me get my water. Agua. Ah, thanks. Um, so, so I, I work with the, the uh, create a team from the builder side when I do process improvement with home builders all over the world. And I create a team on the builder side, which they, they look for, uh, they, they, they know that they're going to hear from their trades, because those are the folks that are, they're experts. They know where the processes are broken or missing, and they're, uh, they're, they have to listen to the trades without getting angry 
And the trades actually come into the interviews, you know, uh, full of fear. They don't want to bite the hand that feeds them. Literally put food on their table. And so they're full of fear, and they're going to have to tell the builder that their baby is ugly. And, and because this is, if it's a missing process or, it's, it, or a broken process, it creates a lot of stress out in the field. So then they're surprised as they sit through the hour interview about how they feel when they find out that everybody in the room is rooting for them. Everybody in the room is there to make them look great. And they're able to speak freely, remove the fear, create trust, and now they're part of our community. And everybody's working together, collaborating to make it easier or better or faster to get the house built without, with less stress. It's, it's, it's construction after all, it's complicated, but every, everything that you do to make it easier will make today better than yesterday. Sorry? Oh, 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 okay. So, Maya Angelou said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Listen to Mr. Ong, uh, and, and also uh, improvisation. A few key words. Like today, breaking away from your comfort zone, thinking out of the box, better than the shit that you mentioned. I think... The fear, you're, you're throwing away all those fear that you have in the future, I, in, in the beginning. I think today, fear no more. <laughs> fear no more. Yeah, fear no more. At the end of the day, it's the last game called Asuka. I really I mean. love that. <laughs> I really love that that, that, that. that brings up to make you like, you don't even know what you're asking. <laughs> you just step into it. And you just behave. You know, it goes along, you know? Mm-hmm. Fear no more. How do you think Mr. Ang felt? after his day of improvisation. Thank you all.